<clears throat> okay, uh, on this uh, lesson I will show you how to model the building. Uh, the building multi -story will be multi-story with several floors and it will be a part of your uh, homework, of your assignment. Uh, first of all, we have to create the geometry. So, uh, but uh, yeah, we will be doing first uh, the steel structure. So go for the frame 3D design. Uh, let's call it uh, TKP for this one. one. Yeah, I will save it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, do this with the structural axis one more time. Let's uh, go for the to repetition of four meters on the X. Uh, let's go for the two repetition of distance uh, six meter on the Y. And let's make, uh, let's check off the stories. And then let's add uh, three floors with three meters height. Uh, click apply and uh, go for the 3D if it's looking okay. Yeah, it's looking okay. Uh, then, um, yeah, let's uh, draw columns. Uh, let's go for the bar. Let's uh, choose, for example, um, uh, HEA 180. Uh, click add and close and uh, start to draw. I will draw only one on the beginning and I will just uh, go to the edit, edit, move, copy and I will just copy it uh, three times. Then I will have one part of my structure. Then I need to create uh, beams. Uh, let's uh, do it, uh, it uh, right now with the same uh, cross section. Let's just be quick with this. And uh, because these are the primary beams, we would like to add secondary transverse beams. Then I suggest you to do like me, go uh, um, just uh, check two of the beams which are on the other side and go for the edit, divide. And here, remember to check off this generator uh, nodes without power edge division, because if you will not do it, the beam will be not split it, it will be one long beam. Uh, sometimes it's necessary, sometimes not, but this time I want to do it with the uh, bar divisions. Let's div divide it in four pieces. Let's click execute, click close, and uh, okay, uh, as you saw, I, I make a mistake, I didn't check off, and uh, you have only the nodes, the, the bars are not divided. I will just uh, clean nodes and do it one more time. I'm checking the bars, which are on the opposite side, go for the divide and uh, check of the generate nodes without bar. And now you see that I have a small beam. So, uh, see, and you see I have a small beams uh, between the nodes. Click close and uh, create, uh, create a one secondary beams, transverse beams, and they for sure could be with the smaller cross section, but uh, let it stay like it is right now. Uh, check the cross section. Yeah, we have the uh, the part of the, um, our building. Uh, then uh, I think it's reasonable to create a panel right now. Go for the cladings and uh, go for the rectangle. Uh, mark three corners and create the panel. Yeah, it has been created. And even right now, it's uh, really nice to go for the load types, define the self weight, and create the second, the which will be the static load, DLT, uh, DL2, and click close. And right now, when I go for the load definition, uh, for the button load definition, I will go for the surface and for the uh, Z minus one, 
it's reasonable kilopascals which will be the static load on the panel uh, it's very often the the weight of the installation uh, the weight of the architectural layers of the on the floor so uh, this is uh, not from cosmos it's something practical and click close then this part of the uh, already made uh, structure we can marked but uh, i am not marking this side uh, because uh, when i go for the edit move copy uh, i will already use uh, this one so i click close and uh, i'm rotating uh, to rotate uh, the view so easily click sh hold shift and scroll on your mouse uh, now i'm marking this part and i will be one more time copying from this to this. Uh, so yeah, uh, I have the first floor. Uh, it's probably you understand that we have to one more time copy it uh, three times, but uh, two times, but this time up. Uh, sometimes it's don't want to uh, catch uh, the note uh, up, so I will just do it manually. Uh, zero, then uh, comma comma and uh, free yeah perfect uh, you see we have already our structure and uh, mm, what is what we are missing we are missing the boundary conditions let's create the boundary conditions let's mm, create pinned connection on the bottom nodes so i'm checking pinned uh, if I double click, I will just check if everything is okay. Yeah, all the movements of all the uh, translations are blocked. Uh, the rotations are free. So it's a uh, theoretical pinned connection. Um, I am closing it. And then here, I am. if it's nothing, I'm just clicking once and then I can mark. And one more time, when you are marking from the left to the right, I am marking what is inside the marking area. If I go from the right to the left, I would mark uh, also the, uh, the columns. So I'm checking from the left to the right, uh, clicking apply, and we see that all of the boundary conditions have been created. Okay, let's uh, calculate it. Let's check if everything is uh, converging, if we are not missing anything. Uh, the element is defined outside the stories. It's okay information. Uh, it's if I go here and uh, unmark filter structure, probably when I do it one more time. Oh no, it's still because I start to drawing from the um, geometry structure type building and I check for the frame 3D and still it remains. Uh, remember that uh, it has some stories, but it's completely not uh, important for the analysis. Uh, let's create one more panel which on which we will be putting a wind. Uh, let's go for the cladings and rectangle. Go like that. Yeah, he's informing us that we will introduce the change in the model. We understand that. Uh, what we have to do right now, we have to do uh, loads um, uh, and new loads types. For example, we need uh, wind and we need snow on the top and we need life loads on the floors. So I will just uh, turn off the section shapes uh, to and to turn off the nodes number to have it uh, as small information as possible. And I will do like that. Okay, then we go for the loads, uh, load types. And then I go for the life load. And we need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight life loads. So I'm doing like eight clicking of light uh, life loads. Seven, eight. We need uh, one, uh, no, four snow. And we need one wind. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right now, when we go for the 
mm, load uh, definition here. Uh, let's go for the surface and let's start maybe from the wind. It's okay. Let's make uh, not minus one on the Z, but this time we will use uh, X direction. Remember, if you don't know what exactly, always check here on the left bottom corner to check what is the global uh, uh, access system. And I, it's easy to check that it's X direction on which we want to put uh, wind on this panel. So I go for 0 0.8 on the plus because I want the wind to be pushing on my uh, cladding, clicking add. And uh, you see that I have a wind right now. And uh, right now we will go for definition the snows. I go for the snow number one. I go one more time for the surface. I clean the X because the snow will be on Z. And the snow, let's make uh, minus five obstacles. Uh, click add and uh, click on the one of the uh, load uh, on the panels. And then I'm choosing another one, a snow option, snow load option, and checking another one. Then I am checking another one, and I am repeating it four times. So, yeah, right now I have uh, four snows on my uh, model. Then I want to have some life load, which will be minus three, uh, and click uh, add, and then I change the load case to the live load one and let it be from the bottom here one and i have to do exactly the same what i do i was doing with the snow go for the three and uh, four and uh, five go for the six Uh, minus three kilopascal. It's all also very uh, typical life load on the internal parts of the building. Uh, right now I have eight of uh, my load cases. If I marked here on the icon load uh, symbols, then I can go through all my model and see that uh, first uh, that uh, load case it's uh, self weight. If I go for the second one, you will see that it's a, it's a static load, uh, which is added um, as something uh, uh, similar to the uh, that loads, that's the self weight of the layers lying on the floor. And then I go for the first life load, the second, the third, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go for the snow one two three four and the wind it's looking uh, rational uh, the model um, seems to be okay then uh, i will try to run the calculation right now it's converging so everything is working okay this is the first uh, part of the pre-processing of the steel building model